Why do you think this world is dying? Why do you think this world is turned upside down with all of the natural disasters and all of the chaos and the confusions and everything? Why? You think the Lord is trying to tell us something? You think the Lord is trying to say something to us? Are we listening? Are we paying attention to what is really happening and why it's happening? Well, I know that this world is dying because of the lack of repentance. The lack of repentance. People are dying every day. Some people are actually dying to go to, they're actually in heaven right now, praise the Lord. But there are many people, many people who are not in heaven right now because they have not repented from their sins. They have not turned away from their sins. They have simply lived their lives every day doing what they want to do without obeying the word of God. And this is why we have issues going on in the world today. I'd rather see someone dead that is in heaven. I'd rather see them in the grave knowing that they are in heaven than to see someone alive and they're dying and on their way to hell because of the lack of repentance. Please, please do not think that you can just live your life any kind of way and expect to go to heaven. It does not work that way. There are consequences to disobeying the word of God. There are consequences. And children of God, it's time to rise up, it's time to speak up. And it's time to be willing to die for Jesus because this world is passing away. All of the things that are in the world, they're passing away. Everything is temporary. Nothing will last forever. So as we enter into this new year, I encourage all of you to please go deeper into the word of God. Go deeper into studying the scriptures that the Lord has provided all of us to read, to study his wisdom, study how to truly prosper in this world, study how to truly live his way, the godly way, not our way, not man's way, not the world's way. Because the world's way is in error. It's in error. And that's why there's depression, stress, worry, anxiety, fear, doubts, hopelessness. All of these things are the cause of the lack of obedience to the word of God. All of these things are the cause of Satan's schemes to defeat you, to terrorize you, to torment you forever. The cause of, of the lack of repentance, the lack of obedience to the word of God. There's a cause and effect to everything. And as I scroll down Facebook, I just see many posts that saddens me because of the lack of knowledge, because of the lack of obedience, and because of lack of repentance. All of these things are lacking. We should have the knowledge. We should have an obedient heart, and we should have a repentant heart. And that is what proves that God is real 
and he will change your life if you give your life to him he will restore you he will restore your health he will restore your life he will restore your circumstances everything that is happening around you and everything that is happening in your life he will restore your life if you give your life to him if you give your life to jesus he will restore your life and he will bless you with eternal life in heaven because he is the king of kings and the lord of lords he has the final say so everybody's trying to be in control of this world but god created the world in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth in the beginning do we need to go back to Genesis chapter 1? The, the very basics of the true foundation of, of the word of God. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So he is in control. He was there from the beginning. He is the beginning. He is the beginning and the end. He is the first and the last. So, children of God, allow the Holy Spirit to use you in this new year. Don't let the enemy make you a passive person. Because being passive, just like Eli, just like the priest Eli was passive when his two sons were sinning in the temple of God, they were all destroyed. And the priest Eli he was passive and the Lord put it on Samuel's heart as he was a little boy. The prophet Samuel was just a little boy and he told him everything that was going to happen to Eli and his household, that they were going to be destroyed because of the passivity and the lack of repentance. So please don't be passive and please don't refuse to repent. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. God bless you all. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.